How much money have you spent on cans like this? I know I've spent probably thousands of dollars over the years buying these little cans. They're up to, I think this thing was spot at the local Radio Shack. Yes, we have a Radio Shack in town. And uh, I think I spent like eight bucks on this. And I never really thought about it, other than an air compressor. Small air compressors, they're great, but they're hard to take with you. Even the smaller ones, they're hard to take with you to wherever it is you wanna go. And if you just need to dust something off, like that, uh, these things have been the only go-to thing out there. Well, there's something new. And yeah, it looks like a little tiny mini hair dryer. And for those of us who may be bald, uh, it's not, not very useful at that. I guess I could do the old beard. But there is a surprising amount of power in that little fan there. Let me show you that thing. That is, that is ridiculous. Now, this comes, it comes with a kit. This actually by itself. It's got a lithium ion battery in here. The air intake is right here and it will suck hard. In fact, don't block this because you'll burn the motor out pretty quickly. There also passes some of the air down through the uh, battery system. There's actually a little cooling vent. You'll actually feel air coming out of there. Not enough to blow anything around, but uh, this cone here screws off. So the basic use is like this. You press it once, you get that. You see my beard here, just a little bit of air. Twice and three times, it'll really blow things away. One thing I will say on the, about this thing, it doesn't last long. I think five minutes tops and you're gonna be dead and charging it again. But the reality is you're not usually using one of these for five minutes at a time. You'd probably empty a whole can. There goes $10 or rounding error there. Uh, so is this going to replace that? They're not cheap as the initial investment, but I would say, and depending on how often you use those cans, it could be a pretty quick payback. Now, we're gonna talk about air compressors also here at the end. We'll go back in the shop and we'll talk about it because I think an air compressor is definitely your number one choice. It has more flexibility. It has probably better cost overall in the long run, but uh, it also has, it lacks in some flexibility. And we're gonna talk about that why. But let's, let's since we're out here, we're gonna do some tests with this. We brought, I mean, the number one thing that you know I started using this for is keyboards. So I've got a brand new keyboard, came with my PC, never opened, and I got from the old uh, Charbucks, I got a croissant. <laughs> I got a little bit of it left. All right, so we'll take half and half here. Single speed, second speed, triple speed. Just shy of 200 with a compressed air at this distance. What do I got close? Okay, let's bring this in. I'm gonna do just this, I just. Ooh, this thing is ice cold. <laughs> All right, let's bring him in. One, two, three. Oh, it's not even close. I can use the bottom to dust and stuff off. All right, let's turn it around. There's a little bit under there. Summer. That was on that one. There's look at that piece stuck right in there. All right, so it comes down to which one do you want? Which one's going to work better for you? I'll be honest. I thought going into this video that this would be the clear winner easily, and that this would be an interesting niche kind of tool. But uh, at this point, uh, and no one sent this to me. I did buy this myself. At this point, 
this is the winner for me. And let me jump you through some of the stuff. I'm gonna show you why also I took this one apart just to see exactly how serviceable it is. We'll show you that at the end. So let's jump into what's going on here. So what you got this, this thing is $70. There's a $10 off coupon, it's $60. I can't find any long-term price tracking on it. So set, let's consider $60 the standard price on it. So it comes with a bunch of accessories here. They, they show up in this little bag. You got this thing right here, and what you got, you can see it all, all right there on screen. I don't need to pull them all out for you. But it comes with a couple little brushes. Uh, it comes with an adapter cone with a brush on it. It has the inflator cone, and then, of course, the condenser cone that you saw me using, as well as a USB cable. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's the Trans Warrior. The names are ridiculous. But if you look at the rating, it's 1,792. This was the highest rated uh, and the highest, the most rated one I could find on uh, on Amazon. Now, here's the the truth. I was going through and uh, I, I was going through TikTok and I saw actually I was just on. I saw this one right here. Somebody was selling this for more money than they're selling. They're always don't ever buy from TikTok shops, guys. It's always cheaper to buy it on it. Almost always, almost always, it's cheaper to buy it on Amazon. Uh, so when I was going through this list here. Uh, it was kind of hard to find. Like this one, it had 233 reviews. Anyway, so I found the one with the most reviews, and that's what we went with. The one thing I'll say about this one is it does look like it might be more serviceable. When I come down here, uh, I can actually see screw holes on it, whereas the one that I've got now, has you have to pry it apart, and you know there's plastic catches and stuff. Anyway, uh, but as far as the list, I'll put links to everything. I'll put a link to this one. I'll put a link to this, and I'll put a link to the whole list so you can go through and see what what's what. But let's talk about the other uh, <laughs> the, the other option, which is the canned air. I paid eight almost eight bucks for my single can. You can get a double can for fourteen, or you can get a six pack for thirty one forty. Now let's look at this. If you bought two six packs here, that's twelve cans. You come in around let's round it down to sixty dollars which is, of course, the same price then as buying this. 60 bucks for one of these versus 60 bucks for 12 of these. So the question is, are you gonna get 12 cans uh, of use out of just one of these? And I, th I think you will because I've used this a ton. Uh, just in the past couple days, I've run it all the way down, charged it all the way back up, down and up, and I'm, and I'm using a quick charger on top of it, so I'm not being nice to the battery. But let's take a look at what's on the inside and then we're gonna talk air compressors real quick, all right? So let's jump into this. All right, well, I was determined to get into this to see how this thing worked. And I was probably more destructive than I could have been. What I found is for these top ones, the clips are there and there on the side. So if you start here, work in, and then once you get into there, dig underneath, pops right off. As you see, this side came off pretty clean. There is some destruction right there but it's not terrible i thought maybe these came off and were the screws underneath that, that that's not the case and this edge here popped off again on the side fairly easily keep turning this thing on accidentally so let's get into this and see what's inside of it and there we go oh there's something fell out there's our motor. That is a compact little beast. Nice little anti-vibration padding on it. There's the control wheel. That's a secondary one. I've never found a need to use that. The 370 seemed to work just fine. We've got some cushioning here. It's probably what thermal overload protection. That's what I'm guessing that is. And this is a triple cell battery. And we're looking at here is get this off here. Eighteen six fifties, three pack, two thousand milliamp hour. Right here, we can see the back of the board. Two screws holding it down. These are soldered connections. All right, so it is serviceable. I would love to see as this uh, as this niche. Uh, matures that they come up with ones that are actually designed to be serviceable. Ones you can screw off the base plate, pop in three batteries, take three batteries out. That would be, I think, the end goal for something like this. Or at least have like clip-in batteries and with solder points and then like screws to take the thing apart rather than having to 
pop cases and whatnot. I don't think that's required by any means. But anyway, let's talk about air compressors because that's the third way on this. Now, I have a Harbor Freight two gallon air compressor. Granted, Harbor Freight did send me this air compressor. It's two gallons, max 135 PSI, 2.1 CFMs. Uh, will it come close? Yeah, it will, it will definitely come close and, and hit probably the same marks if you wanted it to, depending on the end they put on it. But you're looking at lugging a 40 pound air compressor around. If what you're doing is in the area of the air compressor, totally makes sense, all right? If it's not, that's where the portability, I mean, I can't slip that air compressor into my pocket, but I can with this. Of course, I can't fill up a car tire with this. Probably gonna be a case of having both is really what it's gonna come down to, at least for me. Uh, I don't see me giving this up because just having this around the shop, I already dusted off everything in my studio. I, it's just one of the things that just, it's fast, it's easy, convenient when you see it and you need it. You just grab it and uh, you just, you know, super easy if you're paying attention. There we go. Screw the end of it on. And now you have the super focused kind of compressed air there and it just one, two, three, and you're at high power again. Uh, there is a dial on the back of this for adjustability. If you go, if you press and hold for three seconds, it lets you use the dial. I never use the dial. I, I, it's not any more power. It's not really any less power. The three settings always seem to work for me. Anyway, back to air compressors. If you don't like the Harbor Freight option, uh, at 190 bucks, you can get uh, something very similar over on Amazon, the Stealth, coming in two gallon, three quarter horsepower, oil free air compressor, just like the uh, the Fortress over at Harbor Freight. One big difference I noticed is this has one single line out. There's no line out on the side. You can see if you look around here, there's no, uh, there's a, the port is there for it, but it's plugged. I guess you could put one in, um, but your option, this one has the port already. So I like having the two ports, but if that's not a big deal for you, or you feel like you could just screw one in, which is not that hard, uh, $157 on that one. Uh, you will need some accessories. Now, a lot, I know a lot of you are going to look at something like this. Do not, do not get the yellow, the hard plastic. These things are terrible. They're absolutely terrible. Get something like this. It's, it's better all the way around. Uh, you're going to get a better air chuck with this for doing tire stuff. Uh, automatic clip on uh, point there, your bigger dial and stuff. Also, you're going to get the 360 swivel with this, plus the tape and all the other tips and everything, and a better hose. So it's $32, I get it, it's like $12 more, um, which is a third more, more than a third more. So I know I'm saying spend more money, but in the long run, this thing is gonna leak, it's gonna be a pain, eventually this hose is gonna split, and then you're gonna be like, oh man, that dude told me and I didn't listen, and then I get a cackle with laughter, and you don't want that, none of us wanna see that. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. I get it, 60 bucks for a little air can seems ridiculous, but I've been buying these for years for years, and I don't see that I'm gonna buy another one. Uh, they're, they're fun to play with, you know, it's always fun to turn it upside down, and get a little bit of the cold going and whatnot. Can't do that with this, but the reality is, seldom need it. This is gonna be a game changer for me. What do you think? That's all I got.